bonsoir. This space is dedicated to two of the most important protagonists of the second post-war generation of American culture. The two Allen, Allen Ginsberg, the poet, Alan Capro, the happener, two protagonists, two characters, two absolutely different personalities. Non-verbal, verbal, verbal, non-verbal, that those two opposites of our American contemporary culture can meet in a way. confusions and then when things pile up but don't add up you know what I do I take milk of amnesia with our own hand the earth we stand on top of the earth we have bombed out the come music along, come along clear the no. sky with okay. joyful shout things in all the unearthly music Alan, uh, do you smoke marijuana? He said, yes. And then they said, what did your father say? <laughs> well, there he is, answer. So I got up at the podium and I said, one, uh, we don't know yet just whether the, the effects of marijuana are good and bad. <laughs> Two, if Alan is a leader and sets the example for the younger element, then it's setting a poor example if he smokes it. And third, it's against the law. I don't want my son to be embroiled with the law, so that I advise him not to uh, smoke marijuana. And then all over the country, the UP reported, Father rebukes Allen Ginsberg, guru, who ah. spoke. <laughs> this, was, this was several years after my father had taken his first toke. <laughs> that the times are, in a sense, uh, uh, an empty shell. Uh, we, we grow, as we grow older, we see the times vanish. We see the manners vanish, we see the preoccupations that we had and obsessions vanish, the riches vanish, as it says in Ecclesiastes, vanity of vanities, all is vanity. Time here is uh, illusion. As you all know, as your kidneys give out, as your feet give out, as your teeth fall out, as your bones begin to show, as your mothers die, as your grandmothers die, as your children die, as your life passes, as business goes away, as the jewelry business disappears, as the wars begin and end, we finally realize that time itself is a big lie. That may be, Alan. <laughs> that may be in the long run, but here we are. What are we going to do with our lives? We have to make the most of it. Hey, you were saying that you have fights. You had a major fight this week. What was it about? No, we didn't have a major fight. Well, Almost always about poetry. I'm all for Israel. Oh. And he's uh, not. Uh, he's sort of above the battle. Oh, 
Way for the Wanderer, House Sought for All, Black Handkerchief, handkerchief Washed Clean, Oh, Mother, What Have I Left Out? Oh, mother, what have I forgotten? Oh, mother, farewell with a long black shoe. Farewell with Communist Party and a broken stocking. Farewell with six dark hairs on the wen of your breast. For farewell with your old dress and a long black beard around the vagina. Farewell, with your eyes running naked out of the apartment, screaming into the hall, with your Ma Rainey dying in a man to an ambulance, with your eyes Slovakia down on the operating table, your eyes of divorce, with your eyes of stroke, your eyes, with your eyes straps along the with your eyes, with, with your eyes, eyes pink, remove death, full eyes flower dicks up, eyes eyes. eyes. From New York, New York, Michigan, Michigan. Mistakes. Yeah. Willingboro, New Jersey. I Birmingham, Alabama. Hamburg, Germany. Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. How'd you get here? Camden, New Jersey. How did you get here? Pennsylvania. How did you get here? By plane. By bus. What made you want to come? To see the wonders of God. <laughs> Rachel. Rachel, are you shy? Dangers are mining all the dark. 
Millions of phantoms on television. I won. Returning with what I should have done. The love you bore me in your heart. So take this tribute from your son. A couple of more poems. That's pretty balanced. Two more. Synagogue of Silent Dust. It can be written about anything, but life in general. So immediately he challenged me to write a poem about an operation. Well, I was very sorry that I had been so bold, but I couldn't back out now. So on that morning, Monday morning, I came into the operating room, and he gave me a white cloth and mask and assigned a nurse to keep an eye on me for the nurse. In case I took a turn for the nurse. Well, Israel. There are two trips there. I thought it was terrific. Well, that was it. The ironical thing was that a group of those busybody quasi-rabbis that hang out around the Wailing Wall, you know they're the authorities on everything Jewish? Yeah. They began to immediately make objections, as some of us expected they would. So a colleague of mine, which was He's an artist, but he's a biblical scholar as well. What, yeah, anything that happens that they don't understand is a desecration. You know that. I mean, that upon my friend, an artist named Ofek, had already prepared 18 quotations from the Old Testament regarding the meaning of ice. How is Alan Ginsberg's poetry coming along? Publishing, and he, he's very active in... The last time I saw it, he was clean-shaven, yeah. I like to see you clean shaven sometimes because, because you were a very beautiful child. I think it's behind Oh, the gee, that's my daddy. You saw some pictures of BBC with all of his ailments as a child. He was, he was really a, just a, a blonde, white head, a toe head. I go back for another year or two. And um, he emerged not particular. Uh, medical problems that he had. And then he ran into another medical problem. And what does it feel like to have a son who's a famous artist? Yeah. Well, I turned it around the other way. What does it feel for a son to have a father like me? Huh? <laughs> what kind of present did he send to you Christmas? Me? Yeah. Oh, it's on order. It's still on order. It's still on order? Yes, it is. I, I call them Hanukkah presents. Yeah, okay. Well. <laughs> they're, they're, they're usually checks. <laughs> That's the best thing that I said. What is the denomination on that one? A thousand? A thousand dollars. It is a five hundred dollar one. It's half as much. But they average it out or something or other. So the difference is the interest? <laughs> Jesus falls the third time. Father Nostos, we have been
Elle se prend pour le Christ, comme ça, quoi. Ouais, c'est magnifique, ça. Hein Well, I have a little poem about it. Yeah, yeah, about you. <laughs> uh, actually, I came home from Colombia uh, one day, um, and what I was, what I was wanted to do was to go to a psychiatrist to get cured or to explore the situation. So I was about 1948. So I was 21 or something, 22. And he was sitting on the couch in a little apartment we had in Patterson, New Jersey, in the living room. And I sat on the other side of the room in an easy chair. And uh, I said, well, um, I think I phoned before and I said I was coming home for the weekend and I wanted to have a talk with him. So what I wanted, well, what I said was, well, I would like to see a psychiatrist. And I was trying to get him to help me go to a psychiatrist. And he was a little shocked that I wanted to see a psychiatrist because my mother had been in hospitals and psychiatrist meant a nervous breakdown, go to the hospital, get shock treatment. Or... Mm -hmm. So my wanting to see a psychiatrist, he got really scared. Uh, and they said, why? What's the matter? Is it, didn't you get, you know, don't I love you enough? <laughs> I forgot that, you know, didn't I take care of you? <laughs> didn't I take care of you? Uh, and I said, well, I have special particular problems that I want to see. I was trying to be very reasonable about it. <laughs> uh, it it's a problem of, uh, of sexual difficulties, homosexuality. I'd like to um, see a psychiatrist about that. So he looked at me and said, you mean you like to take men's penises in your mouth? <laughs> <laughs> so, no, no, I lied. <laughs> People are always talking about Jewish mother and nobody talks about Jewish father. And, uh, Everybody likes that line, you know, so... But I always associate my father's eye with a horse's eye. Gee, that horse whose brain turned over when he fell down and oh, couldn't God. carry the laundry cart. <laughs> <laughs> and there's one big glistening wet sad eye of a trapped horse. <laughs> like that big tearful eye. More uh, withdrawn, more vulnerable, um, less pushy in his emotions and relationship. Uh, I think there's another side to it too, and that is the father tends to be the one who openly suffers or is consecrated to some kind of suffering for the burdens of maintaining the family, who has not simply to go out and earn a living, but also has to complain about it. Mm -hmm. And um, in a sense, the complaint is, I am sent out to support the family while this um, well, the sister learns mother. piano, and the yeah. mother makes kugel, and, and also everybody's mother, having a good time in the, the kitchen. The mother also is able to be free in dominating the family. <laughs> so there's an exile sense to the earning of a living to support a family. So you, ne yeah. you never had women? Oh, yeah, I had lots of women. Yeah? Certainly. So there. Yeah. Helen over here. <laughs> <No. laughs> I had quite a few women at one time or another. Uh -huh. But 
Uh, there was a time when I was in a mental hospital in 1948 when I was cherry, that is to say, an American. I had never slept with a girl when I was uh, 22. In 23, there was an uh, older woman whom I ran into in Provincetown, and I had an affair with her for several months. Uh, and at the same time, Ramble and Jack Elliott, the folk singer, you know him? Mm -hmm. uh, he stole her away from me. Oh. <laughs> uh, my heart was broken. <laughs> I had a model who was being kept by an elderly man. Mm -hmm. And she was going to the new school for social research. And I well, a whole succession of different women at different times. But then during the late 60s, early 60s, I spent a lot of time with Barbara Rubin. Yeah, uh, many times, yes. Yeah. Yes. I think the first time I met her, we screwed on the floor of the filmmakers co-op. <laughs> Whirling up higher in the wind, the roaring so oh, beautiful, da, da, da. beautiful I was to see. The, the little child wonderful closer desire. in the path, my flame, my speed with the wings. Of a wonderful my desire, my speed with the depth, my speed with the cleft creation. My speed with the flaming of exultation, my speed with lightning through the cleft creation. Saddle the garden and fall. He's having trouble holding back his tears. Cut down by an idiot snowman's icy, even in the spring. Strange ghost thought. Some death. Sharp icicle in his hand. Crowned with yes, roses. A dog for his eyes. Cock of a sweatshop. Heart of electric iron. All the accumulations of life that wear us out. Clocks, bodies, consciousness, shoes, breasts, begotten sons. Communism. Paranoia into hospitals. You once kicked Eleanor. It's rare to see him react to that. To see his face. Later. You of stroke, asleep within a year. The two very serious of listening. Sisters in death. Is Eleanor happy? Husband Max grieves alive in an office on Lower Broadway. Yes, both Lone, faces of Large mustache. Mirror. Midnight accounting. Not sure. Asleep? His life passes as he sees and then. Ooh, ironic. Mistrust made him look My, so my, I'm from the old school, too. <laughs> their rhyme, there's something about rhyme. That's you can't get away with that. <laughs> children, when they go to grammar school, high, uh, I mean, kindergarten, it goes back to prehistoric times, you know. Back to prehistoric you know, times, Louis. And those who say they don't believe it, I'm all for Israel. Oh. And he's uh, not. They must have been. Uh, he's sort of above must the have really bothered him. But uh, I'm... Uh, older generation and uh, lived with grandfathers and grandmothers that are Jewish and I felt that when Hitler was in power the Jews had no place to go so they had to make a state of Israel so I feel they should not be wiped out well he said America America is a police state a police state I didn't it's say America. that really come on now, I say he's always saying I well, said that uh, there was some spying. But I didn't say that. He was saying it was just the same. Did I say that? Uh, now, for instance, I, I, said that. I keep feeling really guilty as if I said that. You have to check.